Rule number 42. The ablative case is used to show the source from which something comes from or the material it's made of. The ablative case in Latin is a combination of three different functions that show separation, instrument, and location. We are going to talk about a type of the separative function with the ablative of source or material. So we use the ablative case if we want to show the source of something, like a river. From Caesar, reinus orator ex Lepontiis. The Rhine originates or comes from the country of the Lepontii. Or maybe we have a conversation, ab aliquo sermo orator. The conversation begins from someone, someone being our source of the talk. Odores e floribus ad flabantur. The odors were exhaled from flowers. Here the flowers are the source of the odors. Very often, the source will be used with the prepositions ab, de, or ex in situations like these. But if the source is another person like a parent, like in the phrase born from someone, then Latin tends to omit the preposition. Mercury is referred to with the phrase Ioe natus et Maya, born from Jupiter and Maya. In the Aeneid, Aeneas is frequently referred to with an ablative of source, like Nate Dea, born from the goddess, Venus is his mother, or Anchisa Generate, sprung from Anchises. Or Mycenaeus is described as Edete Regibus, descended from kings. You'll notice that each of these ablatives of source follows a participle, like natus, rather than a regular verb. Here's a list of the common participles and their meanings that take an ablative of source without a preposition. Natus, satus, editus, genitus, ortus, prognatus, generatus, cretus, creatus, oriundus. And sometimes we see a preposition used, especially with family members other than a father or mother, and sometimes even with the mother. Hic natus est ex fratre meo. He is the son of my brother. The ablative of material is developed from the ablative of source. The material that an object is made of is put in the ablative case, usually with a preposition. So templum de marmore ponam, I will set up a temple made of marble. The de marmore is our ablative of material. We could have a cave made from rocks, and that would be antrum de cautibus factum, or doors made from gold, valvae ex auro, and this ablative of material is dependent on the noun, valvae, rather than any verbal construct. Ex is the common preposition when this ablative comes after a noun. And in poetry, the preposition can be omitted, because, well, poetry. Thus, Virgil wrote, scopulis pendentibus antrum, a cave of, or from, hanging rocks, and this ablative of material is still depending on the noun antrum. There is a genitive of material that's pretty similar in meaning to the ablative of material, rule number 17, by the way. So doors of gold can be both walwai ex auro, using the ablative, and walwai auri, using the genitive. The difference? Um, yeah, not much. That's rule number 42. The ablative case is used to show the source from which something comes from or the material it's made of.